welcome everybody to The Sin Adventure. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with Kettles, our Sin Specialist. We're going to be hunting down a shave soap and aftershave today on the Murphy and McNeil website. And when you come here, you've got a few different options above me, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and click on the Shop by Product section. And when you're met with a few different graphics, one that I'd like to point out is this aftermarket section where you could go ahead and pick up some used shave soaps, aftershaves, hardware, or even sell some that you may not enjoy yourself. And they also have an area over here where we're going to shop by brand name if you're looking for a particular brand. They've got featured brands behind me. They also have them listed in alphabetical order. And this is a Texas company, so they support locals by allowing you to click on the supporting Texas artisan section. We're going to go ahead and click over here at the Murphy and McNeil Shave Soap. And when you come to that page, you are met with a few options. One over here to allow them to help you pick your soap base. And another one over here to kind of help you pick out a fragrance. If you scroll down a little bit farther, you can see all the different shave soaps that they have listed, which is quite a few. We are going to be picking out a barbershop scent today, a barbershop of the dead. They do have three of these, so maybe I'm a little bit behind the times on getting this review out to you. We're picking out the barbershop of the dead. Number one, there's a few options you have when you pick this soap. You're going to have either a sample size or a full tub. We're going to go ahead and pick up the full tub today, and then let's go ahead and check out the splash. The splash, again, we have some options. If you're international, you're not going to be able to get the alcohol-based. I'm going to choose the alcohol-based today, but I am not going to pick any cooling or any menthol to be added. Let's throw this guy in the cart with the shave soap, and now it's time to check out. We have an area over here for promotion codes, and if you aren't aware, I am not doing affiliate links on this channel to help keep these reviews fairly unbiased. Now, you can go ahead and hunt something down yourself, maybe find a 10 or 15% off, but we're going to go ahead and check out and wait for the mail. Oh, wow. Barbershop of the Dead. I don't know about this, actually. Don't be a wuss. Let's get your hair cut. All right. I'll go with you. Let's do it. Yeah, what brings you folks in? Well, interested in a haircut. Yeah, something cool and stylish. I highly recommend the special. Good suggestion, Tony. Yeah, get the special. It's pretty nice. Yeah, get the special. That'll be cool. I don't know. These guys are skeletons. Oh, don't be a wuss. Come on. All right, let's do it. One special. One special. Coming up. Everyone loves the special. Come on, let's go. The haircut's not that bad. I'm just going to let it grow out. Definitely not going back there again. We got the mail in, and it's time to take a look at this label. We get a really cool Day of the Dead type skull popping off a black background with some gold etching. The logo is also on the front of the shave soap, which I think is cool as well. We're going to get an up close look at this soap here in a second. We've got some ridges, some valleys. Around the outside is what looks to be dried soap. I've had this for about a year now, so maybe it has dried out over time. We're going to take a quick little scoop out, throw it in the warm water, press it down, and let it bloom. Looking at the splash, it's going to have the same logo on the front. It's got a cool shadow style on the back, a drip top or a reducer. And we're going to go ahead and splash a little bit in. This scent is to die for with all the top notes, middle notes, and bass notes coming together to create a complex barbershop scent. This fragrance is paired with an awesome soap base of beef tallow, duck fat, and cucumber, along with other natural ingredients like castor oil, shea butter, and coconut milk. This soap's gonna leave your skin feeling soft and smooth after a nice shave. Moving on to the splashes, the alcohol free is gonna have your willow bark extract, witch hazel, aloe, and some green tea extracts, with your options of menthol or frost cooling. Well, it's been about 15 to 20 minutes and our soap is all bloomed up. We're gonna drain out all of this water and use it as we need it. The last few videos, I've made this soap way too watery. 
This time I start out way too dry. So we start adding a little bit of that bloom water and it looks like we're gonna get a decent lather here. So I'm whipping it up in the bowl. We'll pull the brush out and we'll see what we get here. Closer inspection, it's looking pretty wet. And as I pull this foam or this lather out of the brush, it drips right back into the bowl. I've squeezed a little bit of that water out of the soap and we're starting to get a nice lather here now. Let's see what we got. Pull it off the top of the brush here and it looks like we have a nice puff ball of lather. This one's looking good and we're going to use it. Let me know what your tips and tricks are for the perfect lather in the comments down below. And if you've tried this company, Murphy & McNeil, let everyone know what you think of this soap base and the barbershop of the dead. Welcome back to that up close look at the label product info. I have Cuddles, our scent specialist, with me right now, and my wife, Yuck Jink. We're going to be taking a look at this barbershop of the dead and uh, give you our thoughts. You know, I've used it, the soap felt good, it lathered all right. I once again did a little bit more water than I probably should have, but it turned out okay for the thickness of the hair that I had to actually shave off. The watery lather kind of penetrates pretty good. This is about a year old, so it is kind of dry around the edges. I can't remember if it was like that when I first got it. We just kind of put it to the side. The soap itself is very light in scent. They say medium strength, but I almost get nothing off this. What do you, I mean, are you getting something? What's your take? It's really light scent, but that's a really like a light cologne inside. So uh, most of the sh uh, shaving so have like a, you know, kind of like a peanut butter background. So? I always get peanut butter background, but uh, you know, this one have like a little, little light cologne on top of it. It's a refreshing cologne. This is a homage to some sort of uh, cologne scent. So, mm. you know, I don't really like barbershop scents. So I got this thinking, okay, maybe this will be a little bit different. Barbershop of the dead. And it is, it is not your typical barbershop. This is where you're going to get your scent coming through is from this uh, aftershave. Barbershop of the dead. Yeah. Why did it have to die? I don't know. That's just how they got it. They have three versions of this. This was the first one that I got. This is the really typical scent, cologne scent. So like, lots of people wear it. You know, I wasn't very impressed with the scent from the soap. Like I said the soap lathered and shaved well, all that good stuff. Um, the scent from this aftershave is what actually surprised me and actually made me think, oh wow, this ain't too bad. I see clean water cologne scent. Mm. Like I have a sense like this before from my brother, so it's a very popular cologne. It's uh, it's enjoyable right here. Um, what would you say? Is it good? Is it bad? Would you buy this? I say if a guy like to wear some cologne, that's a that's a that's a cologne scent that is really acceptable for most people. Um, it's a very popular scent. It's a clean clean water, kind of like a clean water. Not like a cool water scent, a clean water scent. Because yeah. cool water is a different cologne. And this is cool definitely- Cool water would be like peppermint. Like um, yeah, it's not bad. Now this was a blind buy. That's kind of how I do it. I look and I find a cool looking label because labels attract me. I'm like, cool, oh, label's awesome. Yeah. Then I look at the scent note and then I'm like, wow, cool. These have got some cool scent notes. And then I order it. So that's kind of how I do it. Um, I have no idea whether or not this is going to be good or bad when I get it. And that's one of the cool things about this brand or this website right here is that you are able to just go, all right, I didn't really care for this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, resell it. Dog fat. That's like the first thing I've seen. This is, that's pretty good soap base, to be honest. The dog fat really uh, surprised me. But, uh, you know, overall, I think I'd probably give this maybe like a five or a six. It's nothing that really wowed me. It definitely was a step up from your traditional barbershop. The soap lathered great. It, it felt good. My skin is smooth right now. This uh, alcohol is definitely pretty strong and uh, spicy. So if you get any cuts, man, this is going to, this is going to, um, you know, you'll be feeling them. The scent on this was excellent. Very strong. I can smell it. Can you smell it now on me? 
Yes, yes. Yeah, and I put this on a little bit ago, and uh, yeah, it's still going strong. So um, the aftershave, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna get at least an eight, just because it, it's been, you know, it's stronger. It definitely brought this all together. But uh, I don't think that's too big of a deal because you know you shave with the soap, and then I normally splash this on at the end after a shower, and boom. We're doing good. But you know, like my point for this scent is, if you don't want to take a week to try, uh, you know, buy something you don't know, I think this scent is most people will like acceptable. Yeah, you could probably get this and just have an upgraded barber shop and probably really enjoy this scent. Like I said, they have three different editions, each one of them with really cool labels. Not that that really adds to anything, but I, I like it. It's got there's three of them with really cool labels. I didn't go over the scent profiles of the other two, but check it out. You know, if you're definitely into a barbershop scent, this is a, a cool little twist on that. Anything else you want to add before we wrap this video up? I just think it's so fun to have the dog pet. All right, that's going to wrap this review up. Let me know if you guys have tried this scent or not, and if you liked it or disliked it, and uh, which of the three barbershops is the best if you have tried all three barbershops in the day. Like, share, subscribe. Pretty sure you know how YouTube works. We'll all see you on the next adventure, and peace.